whenever we're sharing our faith, hindi hindi kami hindi mao complete yung day namin without seeing her. She's just so encouraging, guys. Like yung yung uh, the heart of being a fighter, just so inspiring to everyone. And uh, to, to, to this morning, I want everyone to give our heart, to give our full attention to our sister right here, as she share what the cross means to her. Family, she asked me to read a scripture here, in Ephesians chapter five, verse one and verse two. The scripture says here. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Family, I want to give you Kimberly Ponteras. Hello, family. <laughs> Good morning. So it is an honor to share what the what cross means to me. So I'm Kimberly Jem Ponteres. Uh, you can call me Kim or Kimmy. Uh, I'm a graduating student from the University of the Philippines, <laughs> Diliman. <laughs> Take, taking up Bachelor of Arts in Philippine Studies, majoring in Creative Writing in English and Broadcast Communication. So I grew up in a Catholic family. We're in um, my mom, he, who is doing a rosary every single day, and a dad who is a line minister. Having this kind of parents growing up, I've always thought that um, I should be proper because I ha there is this notion in our community wherein I am being part or I was a part of a this so-called perfect family. So, but in reality, it is always another way around. As an eldest, I am always be the one, you know, always in pressure. You know, I'm always, I need to be proper. I need to always follow the rules from my parents. And they always decide, they're the one who's deciding for my life. And then, and then there's this time where in, even in my relationship, it is my mom who's always deciding for me. Even having a boyfriend before, who, who attempted to rape me when I was in senior high school and ended up cheating on me. Moving forward to my college life, my life in UP was darker. I joined, I joined mass organizations and became an activist writer. And I am not proud of it though. But then, what really amazed me is that in the year 2021, I was reached out by a sister here in the kingdom by a messenger, and then I studied the Bible. I studied the Bible, but I stopped back then because back then my heart is so hard and so frightful. Then on, my life, I feel so lost. I feel like I don't have any purpose. I still continue to be excellent in school in everything that I do in everything that I do, but I felt the emptiness in my heart. I feel like there is something missing. So a year after, I decided to study the Bible again. I reached out to Yang via messenger asking her if I can still continue my Bible studies after a year. And then I continued to study the Bible. But while doing, by doing the Bible study, I was persecuted by my parents and they don't want to go, they don't allow me to go to Manila and they lock me up at the house. And then that moment, I made the decision to leave the house instead and leave a letter for them saying that I still love you, but I'm just going to prioritize and imitate God this time. Just like what God said in the scripture, always follow his command. And even my years as before becoming a disciple was so dark. I was so impure, I am full of sins. I never thought I'd been given a chance to be with God. So I continue to, Bible, I continue to study the Bible. 
I stayed in Manila without anything. I don't have clothes. I'll just have a simple backpack there. I'll just decide to go because I wanted to be a disciple. And then I continued to study the Bible and then I stayed in Casa Carbonell's <laughs> without, without even realizing I don't even know them, but they treat me more than a family. And then I got baptized July 10 this year, 2022. And then two days before my baptism, I received my visa from Madrid, Spain. As I was offered a job there, but decided to give it up because I know that God is more than worth it. And I go back and I go back to the cross like every single thing that God sacrifices, the pain, the persecution, you know, living in Spain is not worth it. I wanted to be in the kingdom of God. Come on. Come on, and then after two weeks of my baptism, since I don't have any money, I don't have anything, just myself, I fasted and I prayed to God that please, God, give me a job to support myself financially. And then after that, as I prayed, for, I prayed, uh, full of faith and an SF fast and God knows that's my first ever fasting that I wanted to give up I wanted to cry because I'm not used to having an empty stomach <laughs> but then God but then God answered my prayers and then he, he gave me a job there are times wherein I feel like I cannot lead or even doubted myself because I am just a four months disciple. I'm always having a doubt. I'm always having this, um, this uh, temptation in my mind that I just wanted to be timid. I just wanted to remain silent and I want everything to shut down. But then I'll still go back with the scripture that God sacrifices for us and I wanted to imitate Jesus every single day. And that is what reminds me to continue this battle with him. And then, but then as I try to imitate God every single day, there is just one thing that I realize, that God never give us something we cannot handle. So no matter our life may be, I decided to trust myself and to, tr to trust in God's plan and let, let him lead my life to where he wanted me to go or to someone or to be the woman he wanted me to be. So family, as we take our communion this morning, let us assess ourselves and talk to God wholeheartedly in order for us to imitate him more every single day. That's all. Thank you. To God be the glory. Let's pray for our communion. Father God in heaven, Lord, we're so grateful this morning, Father God, that we can be together, Father God, as a family, Father God, as we remember the cross and look at the cross again, Father God. Father, we're so grateful for Jesus Christ dying right there, Father God, for us, for the forgiveness of our sins, Father God, and we can experience all the things that we're doing right now, Father God, following you, God, worshiping you, God, and really praying for you, Father. Father, we pray, Father God, that we'll be, have that mindset, Father God, now, even though there's a lot of things going on in our life, Father God, we got to be remembered, Father God, that God and you are, the, uh, you are bigger than all those things, Father God. So, Father, so grateful for you this morning. We love you so much, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.